Hey, good morning. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Retired Mark Owens. Uh, I live in Pensacola Valley. Uh, and I want to talk a little bit about what we've seen here in the last couple of weeks. The people have been absolutely heroic in their recovery efforts. And uh, they are the definition of lifting themselves up by their bootstraps. These are some of the best people that I've ever met on earth here. Uh, I tell you, I was in the Army for 21 years. Uh, had six combat tours. I've been in the Middle East. I've been in Eastern Europe. I've been in Africa. The most destruction that I've ever seen anywhere has been right here in Cattail, Pensacola, Spruce Pine, Alta Pass, Little Swiss. It's uh, you cannot do with bombs and artillery uh, what a hurricane, mudslides, and flooding can do in 24 hours. That level of destruction is restricted only to Mother Nature. So, although we're doing great considering what's happened. We'll continue to need some support from the outside. Please don't forget about West North Carolina. This is probably a two year recovery effort. It'll be a generation that's impacted economically. Um, so please continue to keep us in your thoughts and prayers and help where you can. God bless you and God bless America. Hi, good morning. My name's Brittany. I'm from Florida. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I came up to North Carolina to come help out. I got information actually off TikTok and just kind of worked my way through different camps and ended up in Spruce Pine. Um, the camp that they have set up is, is incredible. There are so many donations, so many supplies, so many volunteers with chainsaws, ATVs, side-by-sides, uh, medical, non-medical. Um, you know, just different walks of life and everyone has come together to help the community. Um, we went out yesterday, helped some older folk in the city, or not in the city, but in the town to, uh, you know, help with some trees, some medical needs. Um, other people are going out to see what they need and delivering supplies to them. Um, a lot of people are out of work. A lot of people just need that physical labor help, um, you know, to move things around in, in their yard, in their driveway. Um, we went up to Little Creek, which is just north of Burnsville, and helped out a family of four with some trees that had completely blocked in their home in like a triangle. Um, their kids need some medication, so I'm going back out today to deliver that with some other hygiene products. Um, the devastation is real, and it's heartbreaking. Um, on our way out there, you know, it says local roads only, use at your own risk. Um, you know, but where we went, nobody is there. They're getting donations from other big donation spots, um, but they need people to run it up the mountain because they just, they don't have, they don't have enough help. It's one or two people doing it um, and they're isolated. On our way out, they were actually building a bridge because the, the bridge had collapsed. Um, one of the bridges we went on, you could see where the water was pushing debris threw over the top of the bridge. Um, we saw overturned RVs, cars, houses that were knocked into the bridge, um, house foundations where you could see the pipes sticking out and there was no house there anymore. Um, there's clothes and towels hanging in the tree line in the river. Um, but so the bridge collapsed. The local folk are there in their ex excavators and different equipment putting pipes in so that you know the water can go through we're traveling over rocks and gravel um you know and they're doing it and redoing it as needed and just really coming together as community and it's it's incredible it's heartwarming i'm happy to be here to help in any way that i can um and it's it's going to be a tough winter for a lot of people Hi, my name is Frederick Depp. I'm down here for Maryland for the week. I came down Sunday night. And you ask why I'm here. I think the primary reason is the words that Jesus spoke in the New Testament where he said, you mentioned the first commandment, love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, your mind. And the second commandment, to love your neighbor as yourself. And so coming here is loving my neighbor as myself. Um, these people down here are wonderful people. Uh, they're in desperate need of our support. Um, I came to cut trees, to muck out houses, to bring my ladders and roofing tools here, just to do whatever needs to be done. Um, it's been a wonderful week so far. It's been hard, it's been rewarding, but it's been really good, and I'll definitely be back.